in this lecture we will talk about innervation of the urinary bladder so the nerve supply of the urinary bladder is mainly through the pelvic nerve this is basically the pelvic nerve it is supplying the urinary bladder pelvic nerve basically connects with the spinal cord through the sacral plexus this is the sacral plexus and here is the spinal cord and it connects with the spinal cord mainly at s2 and s3 so pelvic nerve basically is the main supply of the urinary bladder and it connects with the spinal cord through the sacral plexus the pelvic nerve has both sensory and motor component the sensory component basically takes signals from the urinary bladder towards the spinal cord and then signals the motor signals comes from the spinal cord through the pelvic nerve to the muscle mass of the urinary bladder basically the sensory fibers they detect any urine that is either present in the bladder or not or any sensation in the bladder so sensations are, are taken through the sensory fibers the motor fibers that are present in the pelvic nerve are parasympathetic fibers the motor as we discussed that there are sensory and motor fibers in the pelvic nerve but the motor fibers are basically parasympathetic and the sensory fibers are not parasympathetic apart from the pelvic nerve there are two more innervations of the urinary bladder one is the pudendal nerve basically the pudendal nerve the pudendal nerve it takes the skeletal motor fibers the skeletal motor fibers towards the external sphincter of the urinary bladder these skeletal motor fibers are a kind of somatic nerve and they basically supply the external sphincter and due to the somatic nerve fibers or due to the skeletal motor fibers the human beings have voluntary control over the external sphincter so they are not autonomic fibers and they basically give control due to being somatic fibers so so pudendal nerve is important because with the help of pudendal nerve these skeletal motor fibers which are a kind of somatic fibers they innervate the uh, uh, external sphincter and the human beings are able to voluntarily control the uh, the urination process or you will voluntarily allow the urination so it it's very important to give control another kind of innervation to the urinary bladder is sympathetic nerve so basically sympathetic supply of the urinary bladder is with the help of hypogastric nerve in the hypogastric nerve mainly coming from the l2 segment of the spinal cord it comes and innervate the urinary bladder but the sympathetic fibers they are more important in innervating the urinary uh, sorry the blood vessels present in the urinary bladder they may be important in detecting some of the sensations like pain or fullness of the urinary bladder but mostly they supply the blood vessels and they are not supplying the muscles of the urinary bladder on the other hand the motor fibers the motor fibers which are basically parasympathetic fibers coming in the pelvic nerve they basically supply the detrusor muscle the detrusor muscle they basically uh, the these parasympathetic fibers they come they basically uh, they come to the pre, uh, preganglionic region they come to the preganglionic region in the urinary uh, bladder and then the postganglionic fibers they innervate the detrusor muscle and the detrusor muscles is able to contract due to the motor supply and due to contraction of the detrusor muscle which is basically the main muscle mass which is a smooth muscle which is main muscle mass of the urinary bladder it due to its contraction a pressure of up to 40 to 60 mm of mercury can be generated and it is sufficient to push out any urine out of the bladder so to summarize the innervation of the urinary bladder the main supply is through the pelvic nerve which is connected with the spinal cord through sacral plexus mainly with the s2 and s3 segment of the spinal cord and it has both sensory component and the motor component but its motor component are parasympathetic nerve fibers and these parasympathetic fibers they initially uh, go into the muscle mass they innervate the preganglionic fiber then the postganglionic fibers they they innervate the muscles the detrusor muscles which are making the urinary bladder and uh, sensations basically go through sensory fibers and then come back with the help of motor fibers another important nerve is the pudendal nerve which carries skeletal motor fibers from the uh, uh, skeletal muscle fibers which are basically a kind of somatic nerve fibers and they innervate the external sphincter which give voluntary control to the human being over their external sphincter so that they can allow whenever they want to pee and uh, finally there is sympathetic fibers coming in the hypogastric nerve mainly from the l2 segment of the spinal cord they mostly supply the blood vessels of the urinary bladder and uh, sometimes they are important in sensation like fullness and pain but otherwise they have no relation with the, the muscle mass and they are not supplying any muscles so that's all about the innervation of the urinary bladder thanks a lot for watching the video